Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this metallic purple and red water marble for the Sally Hansen I Heart Nail Art Contest. The theme for June is Liquid Manny, and I thought, what's more liquid than a water marble? If you're interested to join the contest for a chance to win $500 and a trip to New York, there'll be a link to Sally Hansen's contest page in the information box. And if you'd like a chance to win the nail party in a box that contains these two colors, stay tuned for details at the end of the video. The two colors that I'm going to be using to create the bullseye are Sally Hansen Color Foil in Purple Alloy and this Nail Art Striper, which is just called Red. And in most cases, Nail Art Stripers, the only real difference is with the brush their normal polish and can be used just like normal polish so if they work for marbling you can certainly do so you may just need to wait a little extra for the drop of polish because the brush is so small that it kind of has to drip down the stem of the brush once the bullseye is complete I'm going to draw in a flower shape and as I go along here, you'll see that the petals don't really stay completely smooth after the first few strokes, but I'm just kind of going with it. You know, you can't make the polish do something it really doesn't want to do. So as long as you accept that and don't let it frustrate you, you should be okay. And just continue drawing in petals from each side until you have a design that you're pleased with. Remember if you see any goobers of polish in there you can use your orange stick or whatever sharp tool you're using to kind of dip them out. And I'm just going to, I've got the uh, purple alloy as my base color. I'm just going to line up my index, middle, and ring finger in the water and dip in. Then I'm going to reach in with my orange stick and start cleaning up that excess polish. You want the surface to be completely clean so that when you pull your nails out you don't get any extra polish on top that would ruin your design. And once the surface is clear you can go ahead and pull out and there's the water marble. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this design. I really like the contrast between the chrome and the cream. And stay tuned to hear a little bit more about the giveaway. All right, so I'm not hosting my giveaway here on YouTube because I think a lot of people don't even realize that YouTube has rules around contests. And I mean, I see them get broken all the time, but since I know better, I'm holding mine on my blog and on my Facebook fan page. Um, I'm using Rafflecopter, which a lot of you guys may be familiar with. And the prize in the giveaway is going to be a nail party in a box like this one. You can see it's also advertising the I Heart Nail Art Contest. And like I mentioned before, if you want to enter that, there will be a link in the information box. As I open this up here, you can see it's got all these different products inside. These two right here are the ones that I used for the water marble. You can see there's also this kind of fuchsia purple. There's a pink glitter. There's a green glitter up here. There's this kind of nude pink. These two nail art pens are actually fine tip nail art pens. And then might be a little hard to see, but in here, are actually three vials of rhinestones. So lots of different products for you to play with and create nail art with. And this is provided by Sally Hansen. They will be shipping to the winner once I select a winner. And you can read the full rules when you go to enter, but just generally you do have to be 18. Uh, I apologize to my international viewers, but this is open to the US only. So if you're old enough and you live here, then like I said, there are links down below uh, to the two places you can enter. 
good luck to everyone. And as always, thanks for watching.